Napoleon's Paris by David Buttery, a guide to the Napoleonic sites of the consulate and first French em empire, some 1799 to 1815. So, um, instead of having like sections and having like the chapters underneath, you get the chapters and what's in each chapter. Um, so, the chapter one, the Croatian adventurer, so, um, different time periods in his life. Chapter two, Napoleon's vision, the grand plan, so if it works, the beautification of Paris, over and overview. Um, chapter three, Musée Napoleon. Chapter four, the Arc of Triomphe. The Battle of Paris walks, um, along the sign, so, um, Heroes of the First French Empire, a fitting tribute, Napoleon sites outside of Paris, and exploring Paris. So it's also a little bit of a travel type of thing <laughs> if you want. Um, and then you get 10 unusual facts about Napoleon at, uh, at the end. So, and you get like a list of maps. Um, yeah, so how to use this guidebook. So it's a mix of travel and history. Um, so you get like paintings. So Napoleon Bonaparte as young officer cadet at the Ecole Militaire by Andre Castagny. Um, Toulon. Um, the Little Corporal, 1796 to 1799. Um, I think this painting is like one painting that you would see more often about um, to visualize him. Um, so like this is part of the Louvre. The Grand Plan. Um, by the late 18th century, many Parisians endured poor living and working conditions despite promises made during the revolution for improvements. Um, Bonaparte had a great plan to improve life for people in the capital and then use it as a role model to extend similar reforms to cities throughout France. And then um, talks about it, um, civic works. Um, so, and you do get um, paintings and photos of like different um, places. So like uh, the Venetian horses on the Arc de Carousel. Um, unfinished business highlights and observations. So, um, so on pages like this, you get um, tourist information. So, like visiting the Arc de Triomphe, address and contact details, public transport, access by car, entry, opening times, ticket pri um, ticket prices. So, more at the t um, this information would be more at the time of um, when the author wrote it, and you get. Um, a variety of different information about that um, certain um, place and you get like maps um, and then you get like different like walks that you could do so but yeah, it's a bit of a mix of history and a bit of um, travel guide type of type of book. So um, if you want to bring that influence into, like, if you're doing um, a report on on Napoleon, the different attractions of and places that were a result of him. So like bringing his legacy into like today or whatever. If you're doing something like that, um, so. Or like if you're wanting to know a bit of his influence in Paris or like um, and France, it does give you a bit of that. So this can be a useful book for those who do have an interest in Napoleon or French history. So yeah, Napoleon's Paris. Happy readings.